This is an example of remote component testing. We'll be testing components without actually physically having our leads on them. So we're going to test the thermal high limit here inside the console, even though it's not there. And we're going to be testing the door switch from the console. As you can see on the schematic, the thermal high limit connects to the start switch and directly to L1. So we're going to connect a lead to L1 and one side to the side of the start switch. I've got the meter. I've got one side on that side of the start switch and one side on L1. I've identified as this L1 and we got continuity. So we know that that thermal high limit is good. Next thing we're going to check is this door switch. Now this assumes that the motor windings are good. If you get continuity from neutral to this side of the door switch, then you know that not only are the motor windings do they have continuity, but you also know that the door switch has continuity. So let's go ahead and hook one lead here, and one lead to neutral. Okay, so we got one lead connected to that side of the switch, one lead to neutral, and we got continuity. Now if I open the door, we no longer have continuity. Close the door, we've got continuity again. So we were able to test this door switch here in this thermal high limit just by going in through the console and not having to take the machine apart or remove the door switch.